Overseas Pickup for Geeks. Number four, know the sweet spots. All right, so when I talk about knowing the sweet spots, what, what I'm really talking about is you need to have a good understanding of the kind of cultural norms that are in play. And so when I say cultural norms, in pretty much every culture, there's, there's a time when you need to sit up straight, put on a shirt and tie, and be somber or be quiet or, or you know, be, act very mature. And in pretty much every culture, there's a place where you can, you know, get drunk, act a fool, and do whatever you want to. And there are a lot of places in between, right? And one thing that's really important for, for, for people that are visiting new countries is to, is, is to try and get an appreciation of what those cultural norms are as early as you can. And you, I don't know, you could talk to people, you could, uh, you could research them on the internet as much as you possibly can. Probably the best way to do that is to talk to people from that culture and get a good understanding of what is allowed and what is not allowed, what is frowned, frowned upon and, and, the, and the like, right? And so the first thing I want to talk about is it's, it's important to know the difference between when there are and there aren't cultural norms. Okay. So, so I'll give you an example and I'm in, in, in Japan. So like the, there's a culture norm here that when you're in the train, you're quiet, you don't really talk to people. You, you, if you're going to consume a beverage or something, you do it as quietly as you possibly can because it's a shared space and, and that's just seen as a cultural norm to, to, to show that you, you know, res, you respect the fact that, you know, people are riding the train. Okay. Now you could get off of that train. You could walk down the street to a, a festival or a bazaar or something that's open. Right. And instantly those social norms are different based on the place that you're in. Right. And so just as well, this could change for not just a place that you're in, but the people you're around and things of that, that, of that sort. So one thing that's really important is, is to know what kinds of places have what kinds of cultural norms. So when you go to a club, how are you expected to act? How are you allowed to act? When you go to a coffee shop, what is the standard for, for uh, how, how, how uh, social are you allowed to be? When you go to a, a restaurant or go to the park or go to the beach, how social is social allowed or what is the social norm and get a good appreciation for that because this will help you understand you can, you can understand what is kosher, right? Like I, you meet someone that you really would like to talk to and you, you have to get a feel for that. And so as a matter of fact, I'm going to tie this in my third point showing that you, you should illustrate that you understand the constraints. So you meet a, a really, you know, lovely lady. And let's say that you meet her somewhere where you basically aren't really allowed to talk to her. So it, it might be something like you're in, uh, you, you could say the library, or maybe she might be in a situation where she's, I don't know, she might be around some people in her social circle and she can't really break away from those people. Or she might be in some kind of church, some kind of work function or something of the like, right? And if you have a sincere interest in this person, you could illustrate the whatever, you know, that you understand the, the, the situation by saying, uh, I understand that you're in this situation. So uh, maybe if you have time, this is my card, call me or, or something like that. And then the, you meet that person in a more friendly or more socially acceptable position. And then you could, you know, say, hey, hey, I just wanted to say blah, blah, blah. And then you could totally switch the norms. You will, you, it will be very well appreciated if you could, understand how to act in a behavior that is not going to embarrass that person in their culture. So if you, if you put that person in a situation that might be, uh, I don't want to say challenging, but might shine a bad light on them or make them stick out or, or something that might, you know, make them, you know, not, not look in the best of lights. That's something that they're going to have to deal with. And we don't really understand that as Americans, but if you're in a society where you have a social image and you're living in that culture, the last thing you want is for a foreigner to come stumping like an elephant in a china shop and stump their way into your life without understanding, you know, your place in a social system, right? So it's it, the best thing to do is open up when the norms are not at play, right? So, so f follow me on this. 
my earlier example, I talked about how you, if you gave the card and maybe they were around coworkers, she can't really talk to you, right? But if you get, you know, if you're able to, you know, coffee shop or or like a, a, a dance activity or something like that, then you're, you're, the, the situation has changed to a point where it's much easier for you to, to, to talk to her, right? And so one thing you want to focus on is where are the places where you being, uh, I'm, I, I assume I'm talking mostly to Western people or Americans. If you're an American and you're talking to someone that is locked into that culture, what are the places, where are the places where you can talk to that person where they can be mostly freed from the constraints of the culture, right? So that might be a bar, it might be, it might be a, a, a dance, uh, uh, what do you call it, a dance uh, get together. It could be a day at the beach. It could be a festival on the street. It could be uh, some people playing football or sorry, soccer in the park. Whatever the situations are, this would also all depend on the country you're, go you're, you're in and, and what, you're, you know, what you're doing there. But if you kind of get a feel for these situations, like, oh, this person's at the beach with their friend and me and my friend are going to go and just tell them that they look really nice or something. You could probably get away with that in cer certain situations, right? Or if you're at a dance, you know, you're a, a Latin dance area and you see someone that can dance, you say, you don't mind if I dance and then you could, you know, get your flirt on however you want to do it. But the other side of that is you might be in a department store and they, she might be shopping with a, a friend or a coworker and you try approach, you're going to, you might get blown off, I mean, you know, worse than that, you might just look like you don't know what you're doing there. So if you have a really healthy understanding where the, the releases from the social, you know, norms are, those are probably the ideal places where you want to consider approaching and talking to someone. And so this is going to vary from country to country, but just understand that it's not always about just how how well you can talk and how good you look and all that stuff. A lot of times it's about where you're approaching, who's around that person. If that person's around a family member or a coworker, something like that, and you approach them in, in a place where they're really not trying to be approached or it's going to shine a, a, a bad light on them, you probably going to get rejected. So pay attention to the culture you're in and try and get a feel for those places where the cultural norms are kind of eased off of, certainly for, for ladies in particular, okay? And the last point I wanna make is, you should pay attention to knowing your place, right? And when I say know your place, and it's really hard for Americans to humble ourselves because we're not really taught to be humble. But you have to remember that you are, I, I don't wanna say a bull in a china shop, I said elephant earlier, but bull in a china shop, but you kinda are. Like if, if, if you're, if you're in a touristy area, it, you, you probably, you're probably not going to knock anything over. But once you get a little bit outside of the touristy area, they, then you're going to, they're going to be like kind of social norms that it's very easy to stump all over if you're not in tune with where you are. And so when I say know your place, it's basically commit to trying to figure out where you stick out the least, if that makes sense. How do, what, what manner of behavior will make you stick out the least so that you can kind of blend in? And this is important because if you can illustrate that you understand how to blend into the culture, it will actually reassure someone that you, you approach that he's, this person's not going to embarrass me because they understand the, the inner workings of the culture and how things working here. And so if, if you know, things go a certain way or if I turn them down, they're not going to make a big fuss of it that's going to embarrass me because that's really one of the probably the, one of the main concerns for, you know, for for someone that's a, a local or a local, someone that is a native and they're getting approached by a foreigner. Right. Is this person going to embarrass me in my social circle or in my social standing? Get an appreciation for where the social norms exist in the culture that you're in. And if you can get a feel for that then you could act according to that in terms of where are the norms eased off a little bit? Okay, they're eased off there. Okay, that might, those might be the best places for me to consider, you know, striking up some conversation and trying to, you know, talk up some people, okay? So 
I'm going to wrap up this video by just saying that be not just a, a cult, a student of the language, but also be a culture, a student of the culture. If you get a good feel for the culture in hey, this is all talking about pickup, but I think it's just really important to show a certain level of appreciation for the fact that before you entered this country, a whole bunch of people did a whole bunch of stuff and built up this culture, this language without you being there. So the least you can do is when you get there, you know, show a certain level of appreciation for not just the people there, but the culture itself. And also understand that you are not just there trying to get what you want and leave. And more so you, you're just, I appreciate your culture. And if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind, you know, seeing some of the lovely ladies that are here and, and having a good time, whatever. And then I'm going to go home and show proper respect to your culture. You pay attention to the culture, see where the sweet spots are, see where you can, you know, meet ladies when they're not constrained by the social norms. It'll do a lot for you in terms of your moving forward with, you know, trying to chat up girls and, and you know, getting their face and, you know, whatever you want to do. Right. But anyways, that's all for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like subscribe. Uh, feel free to comment below and I'll catch you guys on the next one.